Oh, I just hit the radiator. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the, the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we have a beer from Aveling. This is Aveling in Toronto's Bright Classic Pills. This is a 4.9% alcohol by volume beer. So we have had a lot of their just average regular beers. And we I did buy a bunch of their blended beers to try as well. So we will continue to uh, to try this stuff. Aveling had contacted me right after they opened to send me a bunch of beer. And I'm like, I live in the Arctic now, guys. It's not uh, something that's going to happen. Uh, and I bought all these because I really wanted to try them. So we're, we're at that point. So a little hazier than I expected, but the straw color's there, the bright white head's there, the snap crackle pops there. That, other than the haziness, that looks like a perfect Pilsner. I mean, if this was crystal clear, it would be a perfect Pilsner in, in my eyes. Um, scent, can first. Smells like a perfect Pilsner. A little grassy, a little, little spicy, a little bready, a little sweet, a little earthy. Out of the can, it smells perfect. Out of the glass, basically smells the exact same. So again, uh, if, you, if I did this review two years ago, does my voice sound different? really does it because I feel like I'm slurring words and everything because that big hole in the side of my mouth and when I feel my cheeks I can feel where it is still from where the the arctic dentist broke one of my molars and had to pull two teeth out instead of one um and when you're in the arctic you don't get fillings and stuff like you get down here so when I had a giant hole in my mouth he filled it he filled it with contact cement to hold over until we got down here and it could get fixed but then it was still months before we were able to get down here. So when the contact cement fell out a few days after it all started, it was, it was one of those things where things had to get dealt with. And the only thing that you could do up there, because you can't do root canals and everything in PUV, is it could get pulled. So because I almost lost my eye because of the infection and everything, it was just, let's pull the tooth. And he broke another tooth while he was pulling that one, so... And then, you know, drilling into the bone and everything else to try and get the roots. It was it was a long process. Uh, and I feel like every once in a while I'm slurring now because of it. Because I don't have that tooth there. Like my tongue keeps falling into the giant hole. It's weird to me. And I feel like I have a lot more saliva going on since then. But yes, if you had asked me to do this review two years ago, I probably wouldn't have liked this beer because of the smell and, and everything. But I seem to be gravitating more to the less flavorful beers now. And I think that's partially due to the fact that it's been two years since I've been able to get my hands on really flavorful beer. Cheers, let's try it. It's a little hoppier than I expected from a, from a Pils. I wouldn't say it's classic because it has almost a slight like citrus note to it. But other than that, it is straw, it is grass, it is earthy, it is slightly spicy. All of that is right, just the the hop variant seems to be a little more fruity than what I'm used to for a Pilsner. Other than that, I really like this. Light, light in the mouth, light on the body, light everything, light flavor, light drinking, easy drinking. It can just go down. Watch, you can just do this. Now I need more. Like, that's a very good beer. Out of 10 on that beer? That beer's getting a 775. I like that. I would buy that again. So Aveling Classic Pills. Bright Classic Pills. I would say, again, I would say not 100% Classic Pills because it has that citrusy note to it. But a very easy drinking beer. Bye, guys.